Mike Hill, State of Corruption. I want to take you back two years. <clears throat> and I want to tell you and explain to you the plan that I had then and to where we are right now. And the fact that all these people that I've accused, I can show you with absolute proof. You will have no reasonable doubt that they're guilty. Okay? Let's go. Let's go back into the courtroom at Brentwood. Judge McHugh, Bill Shaheen, Steve Gordon, from Shaheen and Gordon, representing Agonos, Cruz, and Grinders, the drug supplier, the launderer, and the banker. Okay? Now I've just collected all these people for you. These are the people that run your estate. Now I'm going to show you something. And I'm going to show you their own omission of guilt. All right. Two years ago, I was in settlement office with Morris Mahoney, who represented all these people. Right, they were protecting Bill Shaheen, Alex Walker. In fact, we did a video called The List. We're going to post it at the end of the video. You can turn around and take a look at it. And I systematically go through down their offer, their settlement offer. In fact, <clears throat> it starts this way. I get an email. We're going to put these behind me. It's certainly your choice. I'm just the messenger. That's Brian Barrington with the video for $50 million, and then he wouldn't deny that I was offered that money. wasn't denying it because it was true, and there's emails verifying it. Listen, what an opportunity to lie. That's their first choice. When you have evidence and prepare to show it to, oh, I don't know, a million people, they were a little reluctant, which is also how we're going to beat these people. But I go on. It says no settlement would be, would be, it would be global to the end all litigations. The demand, however, would be allocated among the parties. Certainly, Divine Millimat firm is the lion's share of the loss. That is, now let's take you back. Alex Walker, just case, who just, who had plans on murdering me, and I'll go on and show you even more proof is now in Brentwood, representing for Divine Millimat. Who do you think they just admitted that they, the wrongdoing two years ago, that they had the lion's share of the wrongdoing? Alex Walker and Divine Millimat asking for a release. I go on. <clears throat> in fact, this release was sent over to me with a list of names that they wanted released. All right, let's just keep going for a second with another email. My client is willing to settle this matter for $50 million. That's me. That was the money. There were a number of conditions that are attached to the settlement offer. I made conditions. They had conditions. However, the first condition is to not agree upon by all parties. The remaining conditions are moot. Ready? The first condition is Mr. Gill will not agree to the confidentiality agreement that has been proposed or any agreements dealing with confidentiality. You should agree on the amount. See, the amount was fine. First, the confidentiality agreement. Here it is, okay? And I want you to know, this offer, right, was signed by Bob Curley, who was representing Morris Mahoney, all right? These are hard, cold facts that they were offering me $50 million, and the problem I had is all these releases. I'm going to get a moment and tell you who these releases are. And then I went on to say they want to work it out proportionally. They all want to pay, and they're all going to pay something different, so I may settle with one and sue another, knowing in this case of organized crime. This is my communications with them. You didn't hear them say it was an organized crime, did you? How do you do that? You leave one rat and the other out. Knowing that they can't do this, I don't believe that they are sincere. Who knows better than what they have done to me and all of them? If we are going to break individuals, we're going in front of a courtroom 
full of jurors on camera for a reality series. And if you want each and every one of them, we're releasing on a video nationally why this spells out the corruption. Now, what have I done? Now, let's understand this. They offer me $50 million, sign it. They turn around and give me all these releases. Now, the only reason I didn't take the money, and I made it clear, we'll post it very clearly for you to read, is that I didn't agree to the releases. Now, think about this for a moment. $50 million, why didn't I sign for the releases? $50 million, sign. And here's the thing, all I had to do was sign this. Right? Because I didn't agree. Because of you. Right. I had the money. They paid me for damages. But everything that I found out corrupt in this state, you don't get to hear from. Because they made it very clear on what I couldn't say. What I couldn't say was any of it. So there's no dispute there, but let's find out who it is. Now I went, again, I want you to take you back to Brentwood, Judge Delker, I've got Shaheen and Gordon, Bill Shaheen, Steve Gordon, and the drug fucking dealers, right? Then I'm going to have another case, Divine Millimat, representing Alex Walker, who tried to have me murdered three fucking times. Watch, I'll prove that too. Unless you think 50 million wouldn't get you killed. All right, so let's take a look who they wanted to release from. Well, let's take a look. And I'll, I'll put this behind me. Did you know that Bill Shaheen wants to release? Well, wait a minute. He's representing the drug dealers. Shaheen and Gordon wants to release too? Well, wait a minute. Where's our conflict? This was two years ago. Fifty million. And there they are in court. You know why? Because I didn't take their money and I meant to expose them. And you know what I did right at that moment? I started making videos showing everybody what they were doing, how they were doing. Meaning if I didn't take their money, the only thing I had to left is to do it myself because I find out that law enforcement are protecting these people. Right. So I had to trap them, put them up on my signs, bring them into a fucking courtroom, put them all together. See? But the one after the drug dealers, that's the cheese. Then the rats have to come out to protect the cheese. It's that simple. So, Alex Walker wants a release. Bill Shaheen wants a release. Gordon wants a release. Divine Millimat wants a release. Shaheen and Gordon wants a release. Yet they're all in court, representing or suing me, or me so because I put them up on the sign, because that's who they are, and that's what I wanted to have happen. Don't miss this. Who else asked for a release? Poppy Saunders. He only worked for Shaheen and Gordon was my attorney, along with Bill Shaheen. You see, it was all a trap. Now let's take a look who else they want for releases from. Now this is what, how big this is, and this is when we want to talk about a drain, a swamp, this is the fucking swamp. Got it? Now I just put them in a nice little pen for you all. I just showed you I turned down 50 million from these assholes. And the only thing verifiable, 100%, is I did it because I couldn't shut my mouth. Because they're stealing the future of your kids in this whole state. Let's take a look who else they wanted. Divine Millimat and Branch. The law firm. You know, the one that's representing Walker. Wiggins and Nori. Maybe you remember Judge Anderson, right? And remember the... You be the jury. When I told them to go fuck themselves, they turned around and attacked me in court. Wiggins and Nori, it's Anderson from Brentwood. And you know what happens to every court of all my cases? The guy who appeal, they go to a convoy, a chief justice in the state that works for McLean, was a fucking partner for the law firm. See how it goes? They'll kill everything on an appeal. It's their own people. All right. Now, the Eternal Revenue Service wants a release from me? When's the last time you've seen that? Remember? Gene Shaheen's been cited multiple times for using the Eternal Revenue Service against their enemies to shut me up. 
I showed you a, a thing where I caught their mole inside the company and even caught the, the uh, adjutant general of the IRS on tape saying they had a mole. The New Hampshire Banking Department wants a release. It's right here. And why would the New Hampshire Banking, what did I say? They were laundering money for drug dealers? They put up false consent orders against me? You see? Destroy the man, you destroy his message. I didn't ask for a release. I keep fighting. They did. The Department of Revenue for the state, the DRA. Did I not tell you that's corrupt? The forged tax return? That goes back to Walker again. See? Why is the IRS, why is your banking department, why is the Department of Revenue asking for my release? And here, his 50 million. Don't say anything to anybody. Now, I could have taken their money. What else does this mean? Now, I want you to focus on Brentwood. All these pieces are in place. We get the drug dealers to laundering the suppliers. Bill Shaheen, that corrupt bastard, we take out Gene Shaheen, Bill Shaheen, and the Shaheen Empire in this fucking state, which is only made to steal. That's why they're coming to the aids of these people. They're business partners. Partners, Shaheen's partners him in HUD. They can control of the gambling in this state. The El Shaheen's fingerprints is all over the Liquor Commission. See, that's what they do. Everyone in that courtroom offered me a release. You got it? Except for the drug dealers. Now, the drug dealers, now, I want you to make it very clear. The AG's office is all over this. Foster from McLean. Remember the Chief Justice from McLean. Remember Ayotte from McLean. You know Delker, the judge? He's from the same AG's office as Ayotte was. Worked for McLaughlin's father, Shaheen Gordon's attorney, is another conflict. It's filthy with fucking conflicts, including Delker. That's why they're consolidating it. You see, they only offered me all the releases. This AG's office in your state is corrupt and it's covering up for all these people. If we get this in court right now with these settlements, we get Shaheen... We get the criminality in all the departments within your state. We get AOT, we get the AG's office and the cover team for all this state. So right here and now, we can do this. Don't ever ask what you can do to help. If you don't come out and say you want this investigated, you're sharing these videos. Remember, in just this last weekend we had a video, Stump, Pump, and Trump, two, I mean, sorry, one million views in two days. We are building steam. It's the fact that you think you can't do something. This is as blatant as you're going to get. Now, in this courtroom, Delker wants the witnesses. You know why he wants the witnesses? Now, pay attention. They want to know where all the leaks are. They want to know where all the moles. You think these assholes will want to go into a deposition with me? Really? Trust me. Never happened. Never, ever happened. They want their witnesses to close their holes. That's what they're doing. Delker's working with them to do this. So you just, this is absolute proof. They don't offer you 50 million for lying. You get it? There was the information. I had to give these people. This. Jim Ten from 10 and 10. Henry Hyder. John Ross was only the president of Wiggins Law Firm. Ronnie Wise was only the head of the PCC, which controls lawyers. Maurice Gilbert was the taxation person in charge of Divine Millimat. They want to release. Remember, remember John Sparkman, he became the president. He wants to release. Larry Schwartz, he only did the fucking taxes and forged them. He wants to release. Tim Powell of the IRS wants to release. Tom McMillan of his own firm wants to release. John Friedman, who said that, that he worked with all the insurers and said the Banking Department Commission in New Hampshire was the worst he's ever seen for 30 years. Yet he's corrupt. Ted Little was on my attorney when I caught him. He threatened to murder my children if I said anything. And we only have him on text that we put on the internet. He wants a release. Eric Renner, Nick Alexander from Morris Mall, they all want releases. I want you to understand the opportunity we are here, right now. You want to drain the swamp? Well, I just showed you the swamp. And I told you who's in it. 
Now we have to have the courage to do something about it. I almost forgot. I told you that I'll show you the murder attempt. Ready? There's three. But you see, it was on a laptop. And the call was made from a cell phone. Brian Toomey, who knew every, who was my assistant, knew where I was at all times. Now we had, when we fired him and I found out that he was that mole, I took his computer and his cell phone and we gave it to a guy who said he was going to help us. I was trying to help his out. His name is Jonathan Irish. Right. You'll see an article that he was charged with a gun charge and he was to be sentenced. He already admitted that he was guilty. He was going to jail. You know who he was working, who was the prosecutor on this? Sending him to jail as early as this year? John Kakabas, Walker's best friend. So you know what? Walker's talking to Toomey about where I am and what I'm going to be doing and setting up the fucking hit, right? It was on that computer and phone. Irish came in there and had it scraped and taken and we still don't have it. You see, that's Kakabas plan in here. We get that information. You'll see in their own words how they tried to set up. State of corruption, Mike Gill.